Hey guys, and welcome to my Power Rangers 2017 review. Uh, really quick, I just want to point out, if things seem a bit odd, like the cat behind me, it's because I'm using my phone, the camera on my phone, to do this little review thing. You know, because I want to experiment with that, and also, you know, it's just a, not really official video <coughs> for me. But, um, yeah. What did I think of the movie? Honestly, I have to say, I think it was pretty good. I mean, you know, it's obviously going to be different from, you know, the 90s cheese that we saw back in 93 <laughs> with the original Power Rangers. But it was an excellent movie. And, you know, whenever a story's retold, it has to fit the time period that it's set in. And I think it definitely fits how things are now or how you know the power ranger story should be at this point <clears throat> so for those of you who may not know the basic story the basic gist is um a an evil villain you know like space empress or something like that i don't <laughs> remember everything known as rita repulsa has come to earth and is intent on you know destroying things wreaking havoc and all of that unpleasantness <clears throat> And it is up to a group of five teenagers, known as the Power Rangers, to stop her from, you know, doing evil, bad stuff. Uh, the main thing in this... Actually, really quick, I just want to throw a spoiler alert, you know, before I talk about this, because I might forget and spoil some stuff. Like I'm about to! Uh, basically, the main, thi the main part of the story with this movie is that <coughs> uh, Rita is trying to raise up Goldar, a giant monster made entirely of gold, to help her uh, take out the Zeo Crystal of Earth, um, some you know space MacGuffin that pretty much allows life to exist on every planet. <coughs> and, yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently they crash-landed on Earth back around the time of the dinosaurs uh, with another group of Power Rangers, who were unfortunately unable to defeat her, but um, they were able to seal her away for some time. Somehow. <laughs> I'm not going to go into that specifically. But um, fast forward to 2017, roughly, and <clears throat> you know, into the city of Angel Grove, and you know, we come across an interesting group of you know teenagers. Um, you know, one of the things that I w didn't care as much for was, like, how, like, all these teenagers were, you know, some kind of, like, delinquent or, you know, ne'er-do-well or rapscallion. <sighs> also weird vocabulary, but, you know, I didn't care for that when I saw the trailers. But looking, you know, watching the movie and seeing all these characters, I think they definitely fit. Because, again, you know, if you're going to make a story, you know, for a modern day... <clears throat> And has to adapt to the kind of characters you're going to see. And also, you know, they wrote the story so that, you know, the characters' quirks and who they were and what they did really fit. <sighs> Whereas, like, the 90s Power Rangers honestly was pretty much like a Saved by the Bell ripoff with, you know, monster fights and crap like that thrown in. But, um, yeah, I really liked it. You know, the characters worked well together. Uh, the characters fit, you know, who they were, you know, the nerd, the weirdo, the loner, <laughs> the leader, you know, and the pretty girl. <laughs> I mean, they actually had some personality to them, and I really like that. I mean, again, they did back in the 90s, but it was more, okay, we got to fill out, you know, the Saved by the Bell roster. Like, these people had their own, you know, characteristics, their own stories, like, their own reasons that they were outsiders. <laughs> But they did ultimately come together and, you know, fight to save the day. And I really like that. And honestly, I identified with <clears throat> a lot of the characters. You know, um, the leader, the Red Ranger, um, the Blue Ranger, you know, the nerd, um, the Black Ranger, the quirky guy, and the Yellow Ranger. You know, who was kind of a loner, you know, lone wolf kind of character. Pink Ranger, I didn't have as much identification with, but I feel, I, you know, she did good. <laughs> like, they all did good. I really liked it. 
and like they had some good twists, you know, and unexpected events that again I don't want to go into. But yeah, like honestly, this movie is a lot better than I had expected it expected it to be based on like trailers and such. So if you have any interest in, you know, um, like the old Power Rangers show, this is definitely a lot different. But the spirit is there, you know, the camaraderie, you know, coming together to fight monsters and, <clears throat> you know, friendship and unity and all that. And I think they did it well. And, you know, with, <laughs> with how Hollywood has done some live action remake things in the past, that is definitely a very positive thing. And, you know, I'm glad that they redid this. And I hope that the success here, like, you know, continues on. Like, they you know, redo the series or like, you know, they have several more movies after this that follow the same spirit. <clears throat> uh, but we shall see how that goes. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure what else really to say at this point, you know, so I will just wrap things up and say it was an excellent movie besides a few select scenes that were a bit uh, like a bit weird that I didn't care for as much or like a joke or two at like a weird time, you know, like I think the movie honestly for me was a 10 out of 10, you know, you may differ in opinion with that, but I don't know. I think it worked well. So <laughs> with that, with that in mind, everyone, my suggestion is, you know, go see the movie, check it out for yourself. And actually, after this, you know, after I do this review, I might, you know, do a comparison, you know, between the 90s Power Rangers and this movie. Like, you know, why did they change things? You know, what worked then? What worked now? Like, just, I don't know. It's something I'm really thinking about. So, you might want to stay tuned for that. <laughs> Coming soon. Gotta move my hand. Now I'm at full arm's length. Huh. <laughs> anyway, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you see the movie and enjoy it. And have a good day and stay hydrated. I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. Anyway, thanks everyone. Hope you have fun. And I will catch you at the movies or on YouTube or something. I don't know. Whatever. Bye.